Today I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the all-new electric GMC Hummer EV. Let's get started. So I've been driving trucks my whole life. Trucks can go more places than cars can and do more things than cars can. And anytime a new electric truck comes out, I get super excited. This is the all-electric Hummer EV from GMC. This video is not sponsored, by the way. They did bring me out to get a first look, but we know that electric vehicles are the future. And it's super interesting that Hummer, of all people, is one of the first to jump on board. Because environmentally friendly and Hummer haven't previously been used in the same sentence before. So the reason I like electric vehicles so much is because the sheer power and torque is just always automatically there the instant you need it. Let's start with the aesthetics though. So right off the bat with the Hummer EV, I can see design elements taken from the H2 as well as the original military Humvees. But we'll just do a quick little walk around. So we get the center lights up here, we have the driving lights there, along with these shackles down here in the front. If you remember from back when they used the military Humvees, the shackles were used to carry the trucks from helicopters. So they were built for some pretty extreme situations. The Edition 1 of the Hummer EV is going to start shipping in 2022. It'll ship with 35 inch tires, but they can accommodate for 37s, which is the same size the military Humvees had. And like any electric vehicle, there are cameras all over the place, like here in the mirror, there's some underneath to help with off-roading, as well as in the tailgate, the front by the hood, and here so you can watch the stuff in the bed. There are four doors, and one of my favorite thing is that each of these roof panels inside can come off of the truck and have a totally open air environment inside. We'll check out the interior in a minute, but this back window also drops down. Because nothing's better than off-roading and having the wind run through your hair. All of those panels can actually fit right here inside of the front. They stack on top of each other so they're out of the way. And if, you know, if it starts raining or something like that, you have the roof of the truck instantly available to put right back on. And strangely enough, there is actually three windshield wipers <laughs> for the windshield. Coming around here to the bed, since we know trucks are the most useful vehicles, this right here is the taillights, has kind of like the H shape inside for the Hummer, and then we have Hummer EV stamped there in the center. This is a five foot bed, and the tailgate has some dual functionality with the step, as well as slots for speakers for the uh, off-roading parties. It also has the tow package, but one of the coolest things, if you look in the reflection of the light below the super truck, you can see the body armor and that body armor underneath the truck just protects it against rocks and damage while you're off-roading. Another cool thing to go along with the convertible design is that each of the four tires on this thing are air suspension. They're fully adjustable. Let's go inside of this wheel well right here. You can see this massive air canister right there. And what the air suspension does is from this stance right here, it can go up an additional six inches for a total of 16 inches of ground clearance from the ground to the bottom of the chassis. And not only that, which is fantastic for off-roading, but each of the tires can turn independently. So the front and rear tires can angle the same direction, or they can be angled opposite directions for a super tight turning radius. When they're angled the same direction, they call it crab mode because you're moving the whole vehicle diagonally. But if you're watching this video, you probably don't care as much what the truck looks like. You're probably more interested in what it's capable of and how it works. So let's go over here. So behind me is a cutaway of the Hummer EV and it shows the front motor, the battery, and the rear motor so we can get a better look. So one thing that GM has going for them is that they've been making trucks for over 100 years. They've actually sold over 85 million trucks. So they kind of know what they're doing when it comes to heavy duty vehicles. Now the suspension is one of the coolest parts of this. I'll get to the battery in a second, but this is one of the air ride canisters that go up and down. And the up and down travel is so much that the half shaft as well has to expand and contract to accommodate for that lift change. It makes a little more sense when you can see it. I have an extra half shaft right here. This is the part that goes into the knuckle inside of the tire. And then this portion right here is where the half shaft can expand and contract depending on how high or low the air ride suspension is. This thing's a beast. And the air ride suspension isn't just about ground clearance. I mean, that's what I'm gonna use it for, but it's also about just how the vehicle drives. It can adjust itself over 500 times a second. Those 500 times a second is all about the road conditions, the weather, how hard it's turning. There's a lot of calculations that go into an electric vehicle. Speaking of which, let's talk about the battery. 
So like a lot of other electric vehicles, the battery pack is in the bottom of the frame to help with the center of gravity since battery packs weigh quite a bit. But you might have noticed that this battery pack is actually double stacked. There's 12 batteries in a layer on top and 12 batteries in a layer right below it. The cells inside of these modules are actually pouch style, made by GM and LG right here in America. But that's not all. You might have noticed the high voltage lines running to the front motor as well as the rear motor, which we'll get to in a second, but there are no wires running inside of the battery modules themselves. They'll still have the high voltage lines, of course, but not the rat's nest of other smaller wires. And that's because each of these battery modules are wireless. There's no need for any extra wires to communicate with the car's computer, which streamlines the manufacturing and the repair process. Another thing, at the bottom of these modules is a metal plate that can be used to heat and cool the batteries. Liquid can run through those plates, hot or cold liquid, to keep the batteries at the optimum temperature. Batteries are kind of like humans and they like to be in the same temperature range that we do. Internally, the motors operate on a 400 volt system. It charges at 800 volts, but we'll get to that in a second. This is the rear motor, and as we can see, there are two high voltage lines going to each half, and that's because one of these motors drives the left wheel and one of them drives the right wheel. And because there's two motors back here, you get way more control. Imagine for a second you were in a regular gas-powered vehicle and your vehicle was tipped while you're off-roading, so one tire's off the ground. It's just gonna spin and spin if there's not a rear locker. So by GM having two motors back here, the Hummer EV always has power to both wheels, no matter what. So inside the Hummer EV, there's over 200 kilowatt hours of energy, which equates to about 350 miles. Now it's a 400 volt system inside of the EV that's powering both the motors, but the Hummer EV can charge at over 800 volts, which equates to 350 kilowatts of charging right here in this little port. Basically, you never have to go to a gas station again with the electric vehicle. Now, most people, just like you would charge up your cell phone at night, have a charger at their house. So you plug it in at night, car is full the next morning, and you're ready to go. So if you're looking at the battery chassis over here and the base of the vehicle, all of that is going to be right here where the uh, step plate is. So this portion right here is going to be the battery, and then the rest of it, where humans sit, is going to be right above that. There's already a charging network of 68,000 chargers spread out all over the United States, so road trips are still an option with the Hummer. And if you visit one of the chargers that can do 800 volt charging, it'll replace about 100 miles of battery in 10 minutes. So we've covered the batteries and we've covered the exterior. Now it's time to see what it looks like on the inside. So inside the Hummer EV, they've taken more kind of like a rugged approach to the interior. We've taken all four roof panels off for the exterior driving. Remember the back window can come down as well. And there's two tone colors to all the seats with the Hummer EV logo inlaid in the center. An Easter egg that you might not catch right off the bat is they've drawn a topographical map of the Sea of Tranquility, which is on the moon, where the moon lander landed. I'd be willing to bet the Hummer EV would also work on the moon, but there's only one way to find out. It's cool they would take something as futuristic as an electric vehicle and kind of pair it up with the lunar lander. Same thing with this footplate right here. It's the exact same footprint that we found on the moon. And when I say found on the moon, I mean we put it on the moon. Back here in the back, we have another three seats. Same Hummer EV logo, the back headrests, air conditioning for the back. And then with the air conditioning, we see the same kind of H design that we saw on the back lights. The same H design here as well. Some more lunar topography on the rubber mat that goes in the base. Right here, inside of the rear seats, is a little storage compartment. You can put like a first aid kit or like a toe strap or something back there. And there's another one there on that far side. But no matter how nice a truck looks, there's really no reason to buy it unless it has the power and performance. And lucky for us, electric vehicles have all of that. The Hummer EV has something called Watts to Freedom, which is their own special launch mode. It drops the suspension down a couple inches and lets the Hummer get to 0 to 60 in less than 3 seconds. For reference, an F250 has a 0 to 60 time of about 7.5 seconds. So this will be crossing the finish line while the F250 is still rolling coal at the starting line. Some people think that, you know, when they think of electric vehicles, they think of like a golf cart or something that isn't super powerful. The Hummer EV has over 1,000 horsepower and 11,500 foot-pounds of torque which, if you know anything about trucks, those are some massive numbers. 
See how much space the uh, rear passengers get to have. Quite a lot of room back here. If I had to pick one word to describe the interior of the Hummer EV, it would be utilitarian. Like, yeah, it's nice and premium and pristine, but it's also rugged in a way that you wouldn't be afraid to take it off-road or actually use it as a truck. Because a truck is a tool, and it's meant to be used. That's why I like having a truck. This thing is going to look good driving around a city, but it's also going to be useful enough to take it off-road in the country. One of the cool things is on the inside, the interior is actually animal free, which means they were able to come up with their own texture for the seats, which is pretty cool. Let me see if I can get close up look at it. Because it's a man-made design, they were able to choose what kind of texture they want on the fabric. And so it's kind of like a grippy pyramid shaped texture all over the seats and as well inside of the door. So the dashboard has that same pyramid texture and up here is the rear view mirror and the buttons that can control the back window for the open air driving. With some more topography over there, the sea of tranquility in the speaker grill. And speaking of utilitarian, if we come around here to this side, there is actually a ton of space underneath the seats. There is zero wasted space in the Hummer EV. So inside the driver's seat, we have another vent off to the side with the H logo and a center screen here in the middle for all the important details. The second screen has GPS coordinates, tire pressure, the pitch and the roll of the truck, as well as all the exterior cameras can be visible on this center monitor, like the cameras underneath for off-roading and the cameras around the sides. Also, right by the shifter and the control knob, there's some more topography down there underneath the center console. The steering wheel also has this portion right here at the top, which is a light and a camera built into it. And that's for something called Super Cruise, which allows it to kind of self-drive on over 200,000 miles of roads here in the United States. Super Cruise allows you to do the whole lane changing thing while you're on the freeway, while using the LiDAR and the exterior cameras to keep you safe. And then if you look away from the steering wheel for too long, the lights turn on and let you know to pay attention to the road while you're driving. Everything we've seen today is the top of the line, most specced out version of the Hummer EV, called the Edition 1. It's coming off the line in 2022, and it'll cost a little over $100,000, but there will also be cheaper package options coming out in future model years. Reservations are available right now, so I will leave a link down in the video description if you want to check that out or get more information. Personally, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how this handles in real life. I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda nice to see that so much effort and work went into the interior and the exterior design. There are some electric vehicles out there that look more like a two-dimensional truck, and this is definitely, it feels like a real vehicle. I mean, don't get me wrong, electric trucks are cool no matter what they look like on the outside or the inside. I'm just excited to see where the technology takes us. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Huge thanks to GM for letting me come out and get an early peek at the Hummer EV. I'm super excited for 2022. Uh, come hang out with me on Instagram and Twitter, and thanks a ton for watching. I'll see you around.